Roughly five years ago, I was working as a high school teacher and I decided to take my students on a surfing field trip. A light bulb went off in my head and I realized that I could do much more for the needs of my students taking them surfing than I could as their uh, classroom teacher. So that is when the idea for the City Surf Project was born. Working with kids in the ocean that aren't really familiar with this space or activity, it's pretty special because um, you're, you're dealing with a lot of fear, apprehension, but at the same time, a lot of curiosity and excitement. When I started, I was always really scared about like getting hurt underwater. I tried it and then it was terrifying and then I did it again and I was like, this is actually not that bad. I love it. The thing that keeps happening over and over again is like, We'll get here and there a group of kids who really have just never been to the beach, are terrified of the idea, terrified of the cold water, it's like too cold out, and without fail, those are the kids that it is impossible to get them back out of the water at the end of the day. Over the last few years, I think we've had at least 40 of our students participate in the City Surf Project. Serving helped me with uh... <laughs> with like how to swim. We'll start off with about two to four sessions in the pool before actually going out uh, and, and, and surfing. Swimming at the pool just helps us with like being like comfortable in the water and being calm and not being all, not being anxious. So when we started the City Surf Project, one of the things we did was say, hey, this is a way to earn your PE credits. Just getting kids to go try it was one of our initial challenges for the first year or two, but now that we've been doing it for three or four years, we have a group of kids that are consistent and the word is spread that it's a program you can try out, that it's super fun, that you learn about the ocean. Starting in the morning, I you know, get the vehicles ready, and then I get all the gear together, and then I drive and go get the kids, and then we take them to a local beach. We usually go to Lindemar and occasionally Ocean Beach. And then once a year, we do a special trip. We were in Capitola last year. It was really fun for a whole day. We take them down to the beach. We kind of, we all stand in a circle, stretch a little, introduce ourselves to each other. And we talk about like general safety, specific to the day. And then we go get in the water. Once they leave the beach, it's about how they feel going home. I can't change their circumstances at home, but I can change the way in which they approach it. Our program has been definitely a way for students to find community and, and build friends. I don't really talk to people, so I guess when I started doing City Surf, I started to be able to like get to know people more than I did before, and people that I didn't think I would like ended up being like my best friends. I made a ton of new friends because of surfing. It's a group sport the way we do it and like with close like camaraderie but everybody's doing it for themselves. I mean it's pretty fun just surfing around and just finding new people and making friendships with people throughout surfing. It can be um, highly developmental for, for students to have this time where they can learn a lot about themselves while negotiating the waves. I feel significantly like calmer it definitely helps if I'm like feeling really stressed or like feeling like really anxious about something and then I go surfing and I just feel more like everything's gonna be okay. It gives them uh, resiliency skills and uh, helps build their self-confidence and um, with that self-confidence uh, they can take that to other facets of their lives. I want to bring my family to the beach one day and tell them what I did. It's been really amazing to watch some students who I didn't see open up in the classroom or in the hallways, but I got to see them open up in the ocean and I got to see them connect with other students and I got to see them, you know, fail and get up and get back on the board, experience success and really enjoy themselves and make a connection to nature at the same time. For some kids that like are not, are kind of resistant to like being in like a mentorship program like this, 
it's like they want to surf and then later they'll find out that they like you know made this like community connection I have definitely made friends surfing with City Surf Project. I think they provide a level playing field for everyone to really be themselves in a, like an open environment. To see the kids feel like I can now go for it and I can take a chance that I might not have been willing to do on my own, it's, uh, it's pretty special. We go on 150 surf outings a year. That's year-round programming. We've seen a tremendous amount of youth uh, face their fears through surfing, and that has translated to growth in other facets of their lives. I just think the biggest thing is like that they feel like they have something that is really cool that they're engaged in and that we like care about them a lot and like care about how they're doing like in general. What I like best about it is the way that they make me feel like I'm not really alone, like I have a group of people to go to and that I have a friend group, and also surfing is just fun. We're not just taking kids surfing, we're creating surfers, and we're slowly changing the face of surfing. The feeling is definitely akin to being on a roller coaster. It's faster than I think you expect it to be, but it's really fun. It leaves you feeling really, really positive about what that kid's gonna go out and do. I think it's like magic almost, just in terms of, I mean, it was for me. Oh, I was excited when I caught my first wave. That was actually pretty huge. I felt like I was just like, I was like in heaven or something. There's nothing more magical than that first wave. When they do catch that wave and their face lights up, you know you have them hooked. I did it and it was so, it was like this rush of like, oh my God, I felt like I was on top of the world. and. I don't know, it was just, it was so amazing. I felt like I was, you know, flying, even though it was probably going like two miles an hour. It was just like the scariest and most fun thing I'd ever done. And I think that was the part where I really got hooked on surfing after that. 